Hi guys, subscribe to the Jared's channel and click the bell on. And you will visit, visit, um, you will visit Facebook shop ja Jared, I hope. Hello friends, thank you for clicking on the video. My name is Jared and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I hope that you would consider subscribing. We are on our way to 500 subscribers and I really wanted to do that giveaway. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button so that you know I could make another video to go about with the giveaway. And I'm very excited because I am going to give away a very nice item or items for that matter. Alright, so um, if you are already a subscriber, a supporter of this channel, welcome back. And we are going to do a review of a rare scent from Bath & Body Works. Though this has been released not too long ago, this um, scent was introduced to us back in 2020 but I mean this is already considered a rare scent and a rare find and I am really hoping that you know Bath & Body Works would re-release this scent as this is really one of those scents that is unique and um, well loved actually so without further ado let me go ahead and show to you the scent that we are going to do a review on today. This is Pink Cashmere. Okay. And as you can see, as I've said, this is a, an old scent. So as what you can see right here with the bottle, it doesn't have the notes like most bottles that we have right now. Well, even now, the faceted bottles have the fragrance notes at the back there are only a few faceted bottles that doesn't have it but you know that that seems to be the new trend now with Bath & Body Works so they have the fragrance notes at the back of the bottle but for this one as I've said since this is an old scent we don't have that but I can read to you the notes right here because I have the Ultra Shea body, um, body cream available and I've been using this one too and it, this has this has the notes at the back all right so let me read to you the notes we have right here one two three four uh, four key notes so we have pink jasmine petals creamy sandalwood white amber and cashmere musk now if I were to you know compare the lotion with the mist there isn't really much of a difference I've used this a couple of times already and I don't see any difference because you'll get the same feel of the note smell from the lotion uh, I mean the body cream as with the mist now well, let me spray on the mist to remind myself but smelling it off of the nozzle right off the bat it kind of gives you a coconut scent but really just reading through the notes it doesn't have coconut but the thing right here is uh, on the dry down you'll get a beautiful amber uh, a woody amber that is that is still soft um, it's not much of uh, it's not a strong or even you know um, a full on amber amber but it's a delicate amber to, to say the least and with the other notes I believe if you know if I were to compare this with Velvet Petals. We've actually have just did a review of Velvet Petals and um, this would actually be on the same spectrum. It's just that you know with 
velvet petals that would be a um, a creamy milky floral but for this one it would have to be um, a little woody amberish uh, floral it don't let us perhaps not confuse this with well if we're talking about um, um, Victoria's Secret scents, right? Um, because with the cashmere or even the amber of this scent, which is really a, a strong uh, or a prominent scent at that, it's not, it's not, it, perhaps it, it would be a mixture of amber romance and velvet petals, if you put it that way. But it's not one of the other. Um, as I've said, this is a truly unique scent, which I really do hope Bath & Body Works would reproduce. Because, um, let, let's say for example, of a woody scent um, in the stars. Right? In the stars. And um, it's, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like that. And the floral of this is really very delicate. Um, which is still prominent though, but I mean, um, even the staying power of this wouldn't be, you know, comparable to other woody scents. Um, it is a floral. Now for those body chemistries who tend to, you know, the florals wouldn't stay as long. This one to me, fairly, is a, it's an average. You know, um, and I think it's because of the, the sandalwood or the amber or even the cashmere of this that 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 makes it, you know, um, stay a little more than just a full on floral. And I think because of the cashmere, it gives that little sweetness. Um, well, just, you know, uh, the jasmine petals as, as a note right here would already give you that. A little sweetness or a little floral sweetness but the cashmere definitely gives it a different dimension of a floral and comparing it to as I've said with velvet petals this is a, a different level the, a different um, floral there is that little sweetness but I mean the the woodiness the muskiness is very prominent the amber is prominent compared to, you know, uh, of, uh, uh, with velvet petals and almond scent, or perhaps, perhaps it, it, because of that, you know, in, it, as I've said, it's not in the notes, but the coconut um, gives it that dimension, that extra dimension to this. So it, this is not a, to me, this is not just a full-on floral scent, but this is perhaps a cross between a floral, um, a fruity, a little fruity, and creamy scent. Yeah, there you go. And I really do hope that, you know, Bath & Body Works would re-release this because for now, the current repertoire of scents, I don't think, you know, there is anything like this. And um, as I've said, for somebody, for some... For a body chemistry who doesn't stay, well, where florals doesn't stay as long, this one fairly stays on me. So I'd really give this, you know, out of five stars, perhaps a four. I'd give that a, a four mark. All right. So there you go. That is my review of Pink Cashmere. If you have this or if you have used this, let me know down in the comment section. Let's talk about it. What are your thoughts about Pink Cashmere? If you also wanted for Bath & Body Works to re-release this, let me know. Of course, give this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. Alright, well thank you so much everybody for watching and, you know, supporting me uh, with this video reviews. Let me know what sense would you like me to do next and um, it's almost September so stay tuned for 
holiday scents. All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Till next review. Bye-bye for now.